What do you have in common with Michelle Obama, Sheryl Sandberg, and Malala Yousafi? You might be surprised to hear, and that's what I'm gonna share about today on this edition, this episode of Leadership Accelerator for Women. We are a transformative series blending visionary leadership insights, personal brilliance, and strategic mastery for women seeking to elevate their professional and personal lives giving actionable steps for success strategies for women who want to earn between $100,000 and $500,000 in a year. It's possible, it can be done. And I've got the success strategies and the proven practices to share with you. And so today, what we're gonna talk about, what I'd love for you to, to know about, is something that I've been thinking about a lot recently. It's this idea of moving from feeling like you're always having to hustle to really feeling at ease to having time and money freedom because time and money freedom are the pinnacles this is why we started this this is why we got into this all right so my friends gather around and i'm gonna share some success strategies and proven practices so you can ditch the grind for good now i'm gonna tell you i have not always been like a Zen master. I, I don't even consider myself a Zen master now. However, I have moved from this feeling, this constant pressure of hustling and juggling and feeling like I'm on a unicycle, you know, working late, drinking a lot of coffee, all this kind of thing. However, those days are gone. No more long hours, no side hustles, and plenty of good quality sleep because that's when we can do our best and live in our brilliance and have the time and money freedom that we want. So buckle up buttercup because it's all about strategic pivots and mindset shifts. Okay, here's the first thing. Money is our friend. It's not our enemy. It is our ambassador to abundance. Embrace a wealth consciousness. I know that there maybe have been things in your life, there have been things in my life that have, you know, indicated otherwise, but here's the thing, money's our friend. And when you invest, when I invest in value and I cultivate the skills that command a premium, you can see your bank account bloom like a well-watered orchid or money tree like you see right back there. So time is the next thing. Time is the currency of royalty, right? For kings and queens. Spending it wisely is your biggest power move. The more you can automate, delegate, and streamline like a ninja, <laughs> this is when things are gonna free up hours in your week, longer times in your month, and you're gonna get the time to do the impact activities that generate wealth with intention and not exhaustion. And that's what I want for you. I hope that's what you want for yourself too. Finally, unleash your inner alchemist, my friends. You, as a visionary leader, are a walking treasure trove of talent and expertise change, transform that knowledge into high value offerings. If you need help with that, feel free to let me know. I'd love to meet with you and we can talk about ways to do that. I've done that several times in my business and I've also done it for other people. So when you, when you put these things together, having these high value offerings that solve problems that your ideal clients need, it sparks joy in you and in them and it spreads and it can help people have tears of gratitude for what you are offering, what you are giving, and then of course, what you're receiving. Now, you might be thinking, okay, Julie, this sounds lovely, <laughs> but my bank account is singing the blues louder than Beyonce. Fear not, my friend. You have more resources than you think. Start small, identify your strengths, identify your values. I've got a worksheet that I've got a link um, below that you can take a look at. Um, and refine your offerings with laser focus. Remember, a diamond was once a lump of coal. Rough. There was a lot of pressure put on it. You don't need that kind of pressure. 
but your brilliance is waiting to be unleashed, my friend. So this is your wake up call. This is your time. This is our time. I used to say that all of these things that have happened with women, for women, to women, I used to say this is not our fault, but it is our problem. Here's the thing, I'm changing that. You know, women have not been able to vote except in the last hundred years. You might say, well, that's a long time. In 2023, only 10% of CEOs of Fortune 500 companies were women. This is where I used to say it's not our fault, but it is our problem. It's not our problem. It's our opportunity. The world needs what you have to offer. And you know what? You're the one to do it. You're the one who has the skills, the talent, and the burning ambition to create a life that you love and to create a life for others. So I would love for you to subscribe. Always get the Wisdom Weekly, you will get an update. Um, download the free guide that's in the description and then we can hop on a call and talk about your values and your skills and how we can put something together that will create more time and money freedom than you have thought possible. So the path to freedom, my friend, is paved with strategic steps, unwavering belief in your worth, and it is your time to shine and to show up in your brilliance. I'm Julie Elstrup, the Leadership Accelerator for Women. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please feel free to give us a thumbs up, share this with someone who you think would find it valuable, and make it a great day. Bye for now.